Pumpkins, a popular staple of fall and in 2023, a decline due to drought. So how does 2024 stack up? Here to tell us just a bit more about the yield is Mark Carroll from Texas A&M AgriLife. Thank you so much for joining us today. Pardon. So the latest information coming out about the pumpkin yield, what are the numbers telling us so far? Well, last year we were down 20 to 40 percent across the board in production, and this year we're only down about 10, maybe 15 percent across the county, which is a lot better for our producers. Uh, we had uh, adequate rainfall in uh, June and early July and got the pumpkins growing really well, and uh, so our production is closer to average than it has been the past few years. Oh, that's fantastic news. So what are some of the biggest factors that actually play into pumpkin production? Well, of course, weather is a big item. Uh, all of our pumpkins in Floyd County are irrigated, and so we have to irrigate our fields, but also there's nothing that replaces rainfall, so we have to have adequate rainfall. But in pumpkin production, uh, too much rainfall can actually be a hindrance because it can cause fungus on the plants which then you have to spray to keep the fungus away from the pumpkins. So uh, it, uh, pumpkins do really well in a dry climate. That's why they grow well here on the South Plains of Texas. So it's a, it's a balance like any other crop. Now you did say that obviously there was a change from 2023 to 2024. Now is the size of a pumpkin actually also affected by dry or rainy seasons? Yes, it is. Uh, actually, the size of our pumpkins this year is down slightly. We had extreme heat the last week of July going into August as our pumpkins were maturing. And so the size of our pumpkin is down slightly from previous years. And um, I, I know this wasn't on there, but uh, taste. Can taste also be affected uh, by dry and rainy seasons? Uh, typically, that does not affect the taste of a pumpkin either dry or rainy seasons. Oh, good to know. Okay, I just wanted to check on that. Mark Carroll from Texas A&M AgriLife, thank you so much for spending the time and talking with us today. I really appreciate it. All right, thank you.